And we are following that breaking news. A former pro wrestler and congressional candidate is wanted for murder. Thank you for joining us on 8 News Now at 5. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Denise Valdez. Metro Police issuing an arrest warrant for Dan Rodeimer in the murder of a man who was wrongly convicted of murder. 8 News Now investigator Kyle Payne joining us now live with these new details here at 5. Kyle. Denise Bryan, I just got the arrest warrant and it fills in some more details. The warrant says that Christopher Tapp offered cocaine to Dan Rodeimer's daughter during a party. Rodeimer confronted him and then walked away. Later, he attacked Tapp, hitting him, and Tapp hit his head on the table. Witnesses also said Rodeimer continued hitting him in the head and body, and Tapp was not fighting back. My wife and I got into an argument. She called the police. That's Dan Rodeimer back in 2020, responding to 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy pressing Rodeimer on two 911 calls made by his wife in 2018. I, I see it as that she is coming at my wife. That was while Rodeimer was running successfully for Congress as a Republican, losing to incumbent Democrat Susie Lee by almost 3%. He then moved to Texas, where he ran unsuccessfully for Congress again. You guys ready? Yep. Rodeimer used to wrestle professionally, but now police say he killed Christopher Tapp of Idaho inside Resorts World. It's a new life, a new beginning. Tapp made national news when he was released from an Idaho prison for a rape and murder. The Innocence Project helped prove he didn't commit. Then, late last year, police initially said Tapp was found inside a Resorts World hotel room and thought it was an accident. Tapp died six days later, but the Clark County coroner ruled it a homicide, saying in this report he died as a result of blunt force trauma to his head. Investigators eventually learned Tapp was involved in a fight inside that hotel room. Now they say Rodeimer, the former fighter, fought Tapp to his death, and police filing murder charges against Rodeimer on Monday, looking for Rodeimer, hoping to bring him to justice for the murder of Tapp, who was exonerated four-plus years ago and murdered four-plus months ago. They knew each other, I believe, from the street outlaws car circuit. Tapp's attorney saying by phone Wednesday, Tapp and Rodeimer weren't strangers. Now the attorney driving from Idaho to Las Vegas with Tapp's mother. You know, the fact that we got him out of prison after 20 years and 58 days, uh, only to uh, be faced with this uh, tragedy, uh, it's just incredibly hard to to deal with, and we are uh, working through it the best that we can. If arrested, Rodeimer will be charged with open murder and held without bail. We'll bring you those new developments as we uncover them. Reporting live along the world-famous Las Vegas trip, Kyle Payne, 8 News Now. Kyle, thank you. Now, any tips on this murder investigation can be given anonymously directly to Crime Stoppers. That number on the left side of your screen, 702-385-5555. You can submit those tips online and remain anonymous.